everybody. Barney McCoy here. And what do I think the biggest technology breakthrough has been at the end of this year? Uh, how about this? We talked about fusion reactions to create energy sources for decades and decades, but now we seem to be getting closer, perhaps, to making that a reality. I don't know if you heard the story about these Lawrence Livermore lab uh, physicists who took uh, dozens of laser beams, high-powered laser beams, and focused them on a capsule of frozen hydrogen and bombarded that uh, capsule with those lasers. So the atoms inside started bouncing around and eventually started bumping into each other. And it created a fusion process that they say actually created more energy from that reaction uh, by one and a half times of the energy going in. So what does this mean? It's the first time it has ever been done in a laboratory, anywhere in the world. Simply put, this is one of the most impressive scientific feats of the 21st century. It means that we're getting closer, perhaps, fingers crossed, to fusion energy, something that we could be using as a, uh, boy, pollution-free form of energy that costs next to nothing to produce. Now, fusion power, it's been a dream of physicists for a long time now, and at temperatures well above 100 million degrees, we're talking about the surface of the sun, atomic nuclei mashing together, releasing these massive amounts of energy. We still have to figure out how to contain that process and harness that. And uh, after this latest experiment out in California, they say that the possibility of commercial applications with nuclear fusion is something that might be coming down the pike in 10 years if they can control those reactions in some type of uh, uh, contained and controlled environment here on Earth. And if it did, it would be great. We would have cheap, always on carbon-free electricity using nearly limitless fuel supplies. So exciting stuff to think about, but keep in mind that history speaks well here. They've talked about fusion for decades now, and oftentimes with other breakthroughs, they say we could have a commercial application available for mankind sometime in the next 10 years. So keeping my fingers crossed that this time will be the real deal, and perhaps 10 years from now, particularly with climate change and all the challenges that presents to mankind, we will actually have some commercial applications of nuclear fusion to be used as a pollution-free form of energy for all of humanity. So that's my uh, big technology breakthrough. And I'm Barney McCoy here in the College of Journalism and Mass Communications. I hope you have a great holiday and we'll see you in the new year.